honorable mention, Bozeman Ice Dogs Hockey. The Ice Dogs started off 0-3 on the season. Oh no, here we go again. But in mid-October, the Ice Dogs reel out four wins on the road in the Alaskan Showcase. That got the puck rolling for the Dogs as Bozeman won 20 games in a row. Josh Heidinger third in the NAHL in scoring with 43 points. That was him with the assist right there. The Dogs also played great defense behind goaltender Matt Dalton, who was first in goals against 1.62 a game. He also was first with five shutouts. The Dogs scored 38 power play goals. They were first in percentage at 25%. They're also first in penalty kill percentage, 90%, and first in shorthanded goals with 13. They lead the league heading into Christmas break. Number five, Belgrade Panthers football. They made the playoffs for the sixth consecutive season. We came into the year and there were pretty good core group. There were 13 seniors and we were all pretty good friends and we knew that coming into the year we had a pretty good chance to succeed and everything. So we just went out every week and played hard, played disciplined. And had a rock solid defense. The Panthers got sacks and they forced turnovers, but the key for Belgrade was stopping the opposition's ground attack. Well, our main mentality when we first started out was we wanted to stop the rush. I mean, that was huge for us. We were, we were small, we were undersized, but we were big hitters and we had good fundamentals. And uh, that helped us out throughout the year. And just being tenacious and aggressive that just helped us out. Well, Coach Matt Hollowell installed a brand new offense. The Panthers ran the wing tee, and they used misdirection and the sledgehammer Zach Hollgren to keep teams off balance. Hollgren told me earlier in the year misdirection gets everyone, and it seemed to work for the Belgrade Panthers, but it didn't come easy. They had to work tirelessly on their new offense. We practiced the new offense pretty much every, like pretty much every Thursday of every week for like two hours every night. So I think it was a lot of practice in the off season, a lot of timing work and a lot of weight training helped a lot. Belgrade stormed into the playoffs with a seven and one record, but they had to deal with Coach Gear in Sydney who has over 200 wins and seven state titles. But Sydney couldn't contain Hallgren who rushed for three touchdowns and a spectacular interception by Colton Kanatarut sealed the deal for Belgrade. In the second round, Belgrade defeated Polson in Polson, and in the semifinals, they went to Dillon. This is a golden opportunity, and I'm telling you what, right now, I know there were about four or five of you that played in that game, maybe some special teams and whatnot, two years ago. And I know that we say there's no revenge factor, but there is. Not only is it the semis, but it's a chance to knock the Dillon Beavers out. Because I'll tell you what, guys, they, uh, they took one from us a couple years ago, and I got kids calling me on that team that are saying get it done. You're not only doing it for yourself, you're doing it for the community, your folks, and all the others. Dylan took the lead late in the fourth quarter, but just like it had been all year long, Belgrade battled back. They were knocking on the door with a chance to win seconds remaining. Zach Hallgren fumbled on the one yard line. Belgrade came up a little short. It didn't turn out the way we would have wanted it to, but it was still a pretty successful season. Well, it was the funnest thing I've ever been a part of. I mean. Every single person on our team loved the game and it was just one of the greatest times of my high school career. And it was one of the greatest runs I think I've ever been a part of. So we, we love hanging out with each other, you know, we were, and uh, it was a great run. It's, a, it's great to carry on the tradition of Bugger at high school football and have it start to become a successful program this past uh, six years 